Hi, welcome to Live Right Tonight. I am Brandy and I have Kelly with me. And we are here to talk about our Spring Spectacular that we just had Tuesday, March 21st, 2003, which I think was a success. Yes, I did. It was. Oh, it was um, first, what I want to do is I want to thank all of our sponsors that helped us with this um, charity fundraiser. We had our diamond sponsor, which was the Carpet Guys. We had our... Oh, what was it? We had our gold sponsor was yeah. Detroit Furnace and our silver sponsor, which was You Call Bail Bonds. Again, thank you so much. And then we also wanted to say thank you to all of our bakeries. We had nothing but bump cakes. Sweet Life Cake Shop and Dalface Desserts. Yes. That donated all of our desserts and they were delicious. We were even lucky enough to have Dalface Desserts attend the event. So we really um, thank all of them for their support as well. Yes. Thank you all. Um, we wanted to just go through and explain everything that we had going on there and how amazing it was. It was I know. So it was. So we had um, the band Nikki T and the Snake Charmers, which they were great. That yes, was they were. Really cool to have them playing while we were eating dinner and while people were finding their seats and coming in and getting um, comfortable with what was going yep. on. That was really cool. And then um, our comedian Jay Armstrong. Um, he was great. He was. He was funny. Yeah, <laughs> he was thing. funny. He missed his <laughs> story of his life into his com comedy, which was awesome you yes. know it was like some points you were like okay do I laugh or not yeah <laughs> <laughs> but how he presented everything was amazing um Libby Alexander yeah. she was great you know um again going through her story with her daughter um again if anybody nobody knows about Libby Alexander she was her and her daughter were inspired of the movie Four Good Days with Mila Kumis and... Glenn Close. Who was that? Glenn Klaus. Glenn Klaus. Could be saying it wrong. But I yeah, I, I say it wrong. <laughs> That's why I'm looking at you. Yeah. <laughs> but, and then, of course, our main speaker was Tony Hoffman, which is um, a pro BMXer, and he is also a worldwide speaker, and he did fantastic. Fantastic. Yes. They all did. They, they all did. did a great job. Yes. And it was, um, we actually have podcasts on our YouTube and on our Facebook with all three of them. Yep. Um, and I think we went live for a couple of their performances as well. Um, but it was, it was really cool to see them actually perform rather than just seeing their um, podcast. Absolutely. Absolutely. And actually <laughs> like seeing them in person. Yes. I was like, I I'm still doing the podcast with you. <laughs> A lot different, you know, on screen than it is in person. Yes, yes. <laughs> but no, it was, it was cool. It was uh, very liberating. It was, and um, being able to bring awareness and break the stigma um, for um, substance use disorder and serious mental illness, um, it's it's nice to be able to do that and yes. have people who struggle with those things and see like I'm not just nothing. And then not even that. It was like people that you know that did come that weren't even in sobriety or any of any of these any recovery any of the recovery to actually see from a different standpoint yeah. you know like you know he's a wealthy person he's doing great for himself holy crap he went through all that yes you know and yeah. it's just like you know it gave them a, a different outlook to see that you know like okay I didn't, you know to like sit there and look at somebody and be like i did not know that yeah. they went through all that yeah and it's like yeah and I, did. I believe Jay Armstrong and Tony Hoffman were both in, uh, incarcerated in prison. Yes. So to hear that, like, you know, a lot of the time there is a stigma. There's no rehabilitation. You're, you know, once you're a criminal, you're always a criminal. And to have two people like that prove and like, look, here I am traveling to share my story yep. and I'm not that person anymore and here I am bringing awareness to people Absolutely. to show them if I can do it, you can do it. I yeah. was low, low. Right. Which is nice. Right. You know, like listening to half of them, you know, it's just like they're talking about living on the street and, you know, using 
the water from the gutter and the yeah. sewer to help them, you know, get to their high. And it's just like, and then to sit there and look at where they are today. And it's like, they're traveling all over the United States and everything to yeah. tell their story and bring awareness and help break the stigma, you know, to, you know, because both of them both said, you know, when they were incarcerated that the people there that were working in the facilities that, oh, you're never going to be in it. Yeah. We'll yeah. see you back in here and to sit there and be like, have you? No, you haven't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and them showing that we can break the stigma. Yes. Um, and I, I have so much. Um, oh, I can't even think of the word right now. I just had it. Just to see them get up there and talk just so comfortably. <laughs> um, I am grateful for them, yes. But no, that's not um, envious, maybe. Um, I I had to speak at the Spring Spectacular, and I was so freaking nervous. Like, I felt my voice was shaking, and I was like, oh, my God, this sucks. And then, like, I see them get up there, and they're just all comfortable. And I was like, why can't I be like that? Um, so it's just really cool to see people that are similar like me and be able to be comfortable and share their story so yes. other people can be aware. Absolutely. And that's, you know, that's the whole, that's what we're here for. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why we're doing these podcasts every week to, you know, to reach people that are struggling, that feel like their story is the only story out there. Yeah. Like nobody has it. And yeah. Yeah. It's like, guess what? There's people with your story and there's people that has worse stories yes. than you can even imagine. And here they are getting clean, doing what they got to do best and to let them know that you, it is possible. Yes. And so many st like addiction and recovery, it all looks different. It's Absolutely. not going to look the same. It could be similar to people, but it's always different. So to have those different stories because there are similar people and to realize, oh, wow, there is a different pathway. I don't have to go down this if this doesn't work for me. Absolutely. There are other routes to go. There are other options. You don't just have one option, two options. There's so many different options out there. So to be able to have that and see that from so many different people, you never know who who's going to inspire, who is going to be like, oh, wait a minute. Yep. I can do it my way because that's my recovery. <laughs> exactly. And that's the thing. It's like, you know, Jay actually made a good point. It was like, you know, they were sitting there talking about like, you got to do it this way or you're not going to make it. No, you got to do it the way that works for you. And and let, let me clarify also on that. You definitely can do it your way, but you have to do it the right way. Exactly. I don't you know, you got to take that. a little bit from each person on, you know, and that's one thing I have noticed is like, you have to take a little bit from each person and it's not a selfish thing. It's you trying to do the best for you mm -hmm. and take what you can from each person on how they do things and try to create it in your way. You know, and when I did a podcast with, um, with Joe from the Carpet Guys, you know, he did, he does a, a daily spin at, you know, in his company, in his recovery. Each day he, he makes goals. And that, that is something that I actually use today. It's like, okay, how can I make today better than it was yesterday? Mm -hmm. What do I want to achieve today? Or let alone in my life. And, you know, granted, yes, I kind of expand my you know, my thing, because I'm always a planner and an organizer, yeah. like, I gotta have things down, and I am a person that does months in advance, but that, that's what works for me. Right. So, it's like, you know, and I have my daily listing, and I have what I want to achieve in my life, and it's like, you know, and I'm finding myself, since I started that, and since I watched his, you know, his, um, his, uh, what do you want to call it, him, him speaking, um, on YouTube, I, you know, and I started doing that. I was like, I wonder if that works, you know, and yeah. I, I've noticed that I crossed a few things off my list and I'm like, damn, like, I'm good. Like, <laughs> but, you know, it, it, it's also, it, it helps you. It makes you feel good about yourself to actually cross something off that list mm -hmm. and be like, I didn't think I was going to do that and then actually do it. Yeah. So it, it is, you know. Taking a little bit from each person, well, and you, it and helps you. And you know what's right and wrong. Right. Like, I can't sit here and do all these horrible things and be like, well, I'm still working my program. Eh, you know what's wrong and what's right. We're, we we're all adults. Exactly. You know, um, we, know. we don't need moms sitting there coming in and be like, 
You're wrong. Yes. Um, <laughs> you know. And, you and feel the, it, you know. A lot of the times, you know, like that can get misconstrued. So I just wanted to speak on that. Absolutely. Because um, I was definitely one of those, pe one of those people yeah. in early recovery. Well, it's my program and my recovery, so that's okay. No, it's no. not. You still, you you, still you can't have to steal. do the work in order to continue <laughs> doing something, you know, to stay positive and to stay in, you know, um, sobriety. You do have to do the work, mm -hmm. period. Yes. Because if you don't use the tools and if you don't do the work, then you're gonna fail. You're yes. you're not. You're not going to make it because you're not getting what you need out of it. And, you know, going to the meetings or getting the sponsor or doing the steps, all that is just helping you become a better you and showing you what was wrong and yeah. what, you know, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Just pretty much not trying to go back into bad situations mm -hmm. and bad mind settings you know you you want to stay positive you want to go forward so you need all these tools and you need all you need all of this to continue doing the right thing well especially because life isn't all freaking rainbows and butterflies no so it's very <laughs> Absolutely easy not. you know life happens and it sucks when it does yeah. so you still have to have these backup things to be like today does suck but how can I, what can I look back on and what can help me change my perception of today right. or what is going on, Right. Um, which I still struggle with. I mean, there's days that I'm down and I'm like, screw everything. Right. But then I have to take a step back and be like, if I stay in this mindset, I will screw everything. Right. <laughs> and I can't do that. Tomorrow right. me will not be happy with that. And, <laughs> you know, one thing that I've always, you know, a lot of people say like the past is the past. I don't want to have it remember it. But sometimes you have to remember that. Mm -hmm. You have to remember it in order to go forward so like when you're sitting there saying you know i have these bad bad days where i'm like screw it nothing's working well you know what well think about when you're out there mm -hmm. now i would consider those as bad yeah yeah you know yes. living on the street not yes. getting your next high now that was rough yeah <laughs> then i look at what's going on today but like you know what it ain't that bad. No, nope, yeah. It ain't that bad. I always got tomorrow. Let's just get this shit done. Go to bed, and I'll wake up tomorrow better than I was yesterday. You know, and that's my daily goals. Come you know, yeah. do your daily goals. Yeah. Okay. Guess what? Today was a rough day. What can I make it better for tomorrow? Yeah. You know, and like I said, some people have to have an everyday daily goal. Yeah. Me, I like them on an everyday, but I like to expand them throughout you know yeah. throughout the year you know like okay i want to be here next year mm -hmm. i want to do this by next year so i have all these days to make it to that point for next year so it is still you know granted it's a year in advance but at the same time every day well, i have to have meet those a little quota. goals yeah to get to the big goal exactly so yeah so makes... it is a daily goal but it's also you know expands yeah. to a year but yeah. every day i have to do a certain thing to get to that yeah point. yeah you know, so those, like I said, you know, those daily goals actually help. And then even in the mind frame, you know, when you're saying I'm having a crap day. Well, guess what? Go back in your dailies and you could see another day that you had a crap day. And then look at the, look at the day after. Mm -hmm. You could have probably had the best day, had, you know, something great happen. Yeah. You know, in line, getting a Starbucks and somebody bought your coffee. Yeah. Like, yeah, I just saved $10, you know. Hey, that $10 goes a long way. Yeah. <laughs> but again, you know, stuff like that, it, it, it does happen. It does exist. Yeah. You know, yeah. not every day, like you said, not every day is rainbows and butterflies. No. It, hell, look at today. It's rainbows. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but again, you never know. Yeah. Never know. But, you know, back on to the whole um, charity fundraiser, you know, um, again, I want to give shout outs to everybody that donated. We had so many great baskets. And we did. I we... didn't get my basket. <laughs> my brother got it. I was fighting him to the death, like, give me that, give me that. But, you know, again, all those... All those baskets were amazing, yes. and everybody that donated those baskets to make them amazing. Thank you all. Um, again, because without all these people, we wouldn't have been able to yes. have what we had. Without our community, and we could not do Absolutely. what we do. And um, we are we are truly thankful for them, and um, everyone who got um, programs in our booklets as well. Yeah. Um, everyone who attended. Um, 
they're, you know, thank you so much for um, enjoying that with us and being there with us. Um, we greatly appreciate everyone who helps support our spring for ten. Yeah, I know that we had a couple tables that we were slacking, and my mechanic picked those tables yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Thank you to my mechanic. You know, they uh, they definitely helped out as well. Um, you know, obviously to the president here at Live Right, Brenda Max, for making all this possible to help everybody you know that's you know that's what we're here for we're here to help and we're here to spread awareness and if you don't have the you know the research to get to what you need you know we're here that's what we're here for mm -hmm. we're here to help you structure your life we're here to help you better your life give you those resources that absolutely you need. anything that you need you know we're here it's just you just got to walk through the door yeah that's it yeah you know, um, we do have some events coming up, which one is the Reptarium, yeah. which is Monday, March 27th. So this coming Monday, 4 27th. to 5 p.m. Um, at our center through the back red doors. Um, it is our pro social, pro social event for March. <laughs> um, so it's for um uh, kids or um, young adults 20 and under so bring your kids out um, we would love to have them and have them meet some of the reptile reptiles that the reptarium has yeah then we also have our Easter egg hunt which is April 2nd Sunday and that starts at 1 30 it begins at 1.30, so bring your own baskets. Uh, the age range is from 12 and under. We will have eggs out there for the kids to find. We, we will have the candies prepped for the children just so everybody, you know, all the kids have the same amount and fair amount because, you know, we don't want no kids sad. So we want to make sure everything's even and everything, you know, is... It's good for the kids, you know. We just want to make them happy and have them have a good time. So we do have an Easter egg hunt. Again, that is Sunday, March 2nd at 1.30. April 2nd. What did I say? March. I said March. <laughs> We're not going I'm back It's not March. We're not backtracking, <laughs> all right? Let's go forward. We're moving <laughs> forward. So um, April 2nd. <laughs> At 1.30, here at Live Right, we have Easter egg hunt from the age of 12 and under. Um, and the Easter Bunny will be here for pictures, and yeah. um, candy is while supplies last. So come here at 1.30 and come find some eggs with us. Yes. Um, on March 28th, um, from 5 to 6, we have the Intro to Basic Computer Literacy. Um, which is really cool. Katie does that and helps people um, navigate the computer, Microsoft Office, addressing emails, keyboarding skills, whatever kind of you need help with. Um, Even on your phone. If you yeah. got a new phone and you don't know how to work it property, properly, what is going on? We don't with know. Us? <laughs> we can't talk. <laughs> work with us. <laughs> But yes, if you don't even know how to use your phone properly and, you know, it's new or even if it's old, it doesn't matter. If you just don't know how to work it correctly, come on in. She can help you, you know, it from your iPad to your computer to your laptop to your phone to even on a basic computer as well. Yes. We have those. So, um, yes. But if you do have your own device, I would bring your own device so you can learn how to navigate that device. Because Absolutely. Because that's what you're used to working on. Then we have our free Narcan training, and that's Thursday, March 30th from 1 to 2 p.m. Um, just come up, learn um, how to use Narcan, get a free Narcan. Um, you can sign up for all of these things on our website, liveRightStructureRecoveryCorp.org. Um, and we look forward to seeing you all there. Yes. So, again, thank you guys for everything and to continue to support us. So, you all have a blessed day. Bye. Bye.